Hey guys, how's it going? Happy whatever day it is that I end up making this video live. Yay! <laughs> Cheers. I'm really addicted to this lately, you guys. I can't lie. I actually think I'm liking this more than diet, diet cola right now. Anyway, um, my last video, I was telling you guys about some of my wish list from my trip out to Phoenix with Whitney. So we're just gonna build, we're gonna start this little series. Um, so yesterday I was telling you guys about, um, God, I love this song, which I heard about while Whitney was training me and I was like, shut up, what is this song? Cause it's so, like, it's a cool song and it sounds cool, but the words, they're just me. I'm so excited to tell you guys about all this stuff. Um, also a side note, in my last video I was telling you guys about, oh, I thought this was open, freak me out. I told you guys about a lot of the products that I came home and immediately bought from being with Whitney. This was the one that I missed. This was that uh, maple um, almond butter that she put on top of those protein pancakes. So yeah, I think this was a key. Um, love you Whitney! Um, so, okay. I'm, what I'm gonna do today in this video is give you, hopefully this isn't too loud. Some of you get very vocal with me and you're like, Kelly, it's too loud. Um, and also I think I address those of you that keep writing me, asking me to flex. I will do my flexing again. Of course, I always like to be tan. It's also been too cold here in Chicago to even think of shooting a video in here and not having a sweatshirt on. So if you give me just a little time, we'll get around to that. Also, as I mentioned in my last video, I got work done while I was in Phoenix. My whole arm, I don't know if I can show you any of this. Can you see? You can probably see some of this. This is all black and blue. And it doesn't really, I'm not showing you a flattering view right now. But there, I'm just black and blue all over. Um, and that's from getting worked on. Um, I didn't get beat up. It's just that we were really working on this shoulder. And um, so. That really looked even worse than I thought. Maybe it's just that I look pale. So you can see like these big, it looks really nasty actually. It was funny. Um, Cause sometimes it looks like it's shadows. Sometimes it looks, I don't know, anyway. Um, but when you really get worked on, when he was, when Steve was working on me, I was closing my eyes. Cause I'm like, I don't want to see what's going on. He was working on, you know, my subscapular and my, my shoulder. It felt, and I told him, I said, I'm cursing your children right now. It felt like he was, without cutting my skin open, it felt like he had gotten up inside of my, my muscle and underneath my tissues. Like, well, that's kind of the goal, to reach the fascia. I'm like, you bastard, just kidding. That's not what I said. Actually, I really did say that to him, so. Um, but it hurt like hell. And then the, the work he did on my back, I had cupping, never had that before. Again, we'll talk about that separately. I have so much stuff to tell you guys about. I'm just, I'm a new person. And actually, um, I'm a new person already and you're gonna get to watch this progression of awesome stuff that's gonna happen with this um, new treatment and everything that I learned while I was out there. Oh, it's an ad coming up. Anyway, oh, I bet you that's for my, it is. It's for my um, squarespace.com platform, which is what I use for my blog, kellyalexa.com, which I'm sure you're subscribed to. Um, here's another good song. How come? Wait a minute. Apparently, my Derek Bentley song did not show up here. Unacceptable. Um, but I do love this song. I got into listening to country a lot again when I was out in Phoenix. having dirty thoughts right now. Okay, anyway, let me tell you guys, I'm almost five minutes into my video. I think many of you that have been watching my videos know, I went out to Phoenix because I went to see Dr. Riska and his team to get my, remember I had all that blood work done? He was the one that ordered it, he did an, an interview with me. Why? What's the story here? Many of you have watched my videos, but maybe this is one of your first videos that you've watched. This has all come about because the last four years or so, I have been dealing with, I, I knew there was something wrong. I don't know that I necessarily knew for sure that I had hormonal imbalance. I suspected it. Um, 
But I think the reason that I never really, um, two reasons I think that I never really sought out a specialist. Number one, in the early days, you know, a couple years ago when I first started having symptoms, um, I don't think I knew that there were specialists. I'd heard of books by Suzanne Summers and, you know, even that I was like, wow, she sounds like she's really researched this and there's all these doctors and whatever. And then, you know, I, I think maybe I would Google and see if there was anything like that around me and there wasn't. So part of me was like a typical consumer going, oh, you know, that I'm skeptical. Um, okay, sorry, somebody I can't respond to right now. But then also, as I shared with Dr. Riska and Whitney when I was out in Phoenix, I do know that deep inside, part of the reason that I never stopped texting me right now, that I didn't pursue looking into this, is that deep down inside, especially after I'd been dealing with this for a couple of years, up and down, and just the varying symptoms and the weird changes, and having your whole lifestyle affected, you know, I'll get into that probably in a separate video, but. There was a part of me that probably unconsciously thought, I don't want to pursue this because I'm scared if I go to somebody who's a specialist and maybe I get the blood work, that they'll look at me and go, everything's fine. And then I'm going to feel like an even bigger loser because there's all this stuff that's wrong with me, you know, and I don't want to be that person, that hypochondriac that's making stuff up. And, and I've known people, you know, let's look at it from a fitness perspective. I've known that person that talks about working out all the time and, you know, they're huge or they're just completely out of shape, but they're like, oh, I'm dieting. And then you see them drinking all the time and you're like, Pff. and I never wanted to be that person. And I, I'm sure you guys are hearing me talk and you're probably seeing some glimpses of my massive, stuff I'm working on, you know, this, this massive internal insecurity that I have. But yeah, that was a big reason why I never uh, addressed this stuff. My whole life I've been very insecure and the first symptom, incidentally, that I got, um, this is a stupid commercial, I have YouTube on people. Um, one of the first symptoms that I got was just really bad, like a, it started on my neck, then it spread to my chest and my shoulders and my back, it was like a skin what I call a skin condition, if you will. This is not what I want to listen to. Um, okay. I didn't know he was from Chicago. Um, and so the doctors put me on medication to make the skin condition go away. And, and again, that had to do with my insecurity because I'm like, I have this skin condition. No one wants to look at me. I've got to cover myself up. Um, but this was why I went out to Phoenix. And I have to thank Whitney for this because it was Whitney who, when she decided she was going to design a training and diet program for me, she'd heard my frustration. She'd heard about my injuries over the past year and a half with my ankle and, you know, a bunch of trainers kind of tossing me back and forth and, and all of them arguing with each other and all of them going, oh, that person's wrong. That person, that diet approach is wrong. This person sucks. They don't know what they're doing. And here's me, like never having anything, just floating all over the place. And again, feeling frustrated, feeling really stressed. So when I connected with Whitney and we just became fast friends, she did an interview with me. And she, when she, once she found out that I was on this medication, this spironolactone, she's like, what? You're on spironolactone and you're on the pill? She's like, that's like a one-two massive punch of um, hormonal imbalance hell. And I'm like, well, I am, you know, they did tell me I was in perimenopause before and that that would cause a lot of stuff. And she's like, but they didn't do anything? And I'm like, well, no. And then I kind of gave her the history behind this. She's like, holy crap, but she used other words, as I would. Um, and basically, she's like, Kelly, I can't believe nobody was surprised by all of this, that nobody advised you how bad it is to be on the pill, that this is a steroid and has, you know, not only from a fitness perspective, causes weight gain, so does the pill. I've been having migraines ever since I went back on the pill. I had been on the pill since I was 20 up until probably in my 40, or early, early, like 40, 41. There's a time period that I went off, then I went back on it recently and immediately started getting migraines all the time, all the time. The amount of times I've parked on that couch all day the past six months or nine months with excruciating migraines that I've never had before, and yet I called my gynecologist and they're like, oh no, that dosage that you have is way too low of an estrogen dose to affect you in, in that way. And then six months later, they're like, oh yeah, you should get off that immediately. 
A lot of misinformation out there, people, and a lot of people that don't know how to diagnose or guide you correctly. This, all that stuff, but it was really Whitney who kind of saw the, the pro, and, and what she said was, she's like, Kelly, I can design a program for you, but without even being your doctor, she goes, I send enough of my clients that are your age, they have a high stress life, they work all the time, and I end up seeing that they have hormonal imbalance because I've worked with enough of them, I've sent enough of them to this specialist out in Phoenix. She goes, I can guarantee you what's gonna happen is you're gonna bust your tail, you're gonna be really strict, but you're only gonna get to a certain point because I'm, she, she kept saying, I'm guessing that you have some serious issues that are gonna need to be addressed before you can reach the fitness goals you want. And she said, I don't wanna see you bust your ass and then get frustrated with the lack of results and then give up. And I was kind of like, well, that's been the story of my life the past four years. And, uh, hold on. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I apologize about that. I gotta wrap it up. I'm over 10 minutes, damn it. Um, so it was Whitney who insisted and I got my first set of blood work done in August and then typical me, I'm like, I'm busy, I'm traveling, I don't have time, blah, 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 blah and I put it off. And that's what I've been doing for so long. But again, like I said at the beginning of this video, I think that I just, you know, really was scared. I, I was scared that somebody was gonna meet me and go, there's nothing wrong with you. And then I'd feel stupid. That, honest to God, that was truly what was going on in the back of my head. But I just kept saying, oh, I don't have time, I'm traveling, the business comes first. But guess what, the business has come first for the past three and a half years and I've put myself behind and, and I can't do that anymore. So I got the blood work done, then I had to have it redone. Just went out there and met with these amazing people, Dr. Riska and his team, and um, he spent two hours going over my blood work with me, line by line by line. And suffice it to say, I will get into the details in my next videos and in my blogs at kellyalexa.com. Subscribe. It's so weird for me to say that. Um, but I came away going, I have an answer. I know I'm not crazy. I have a treatment plan. I mean, it was literally like I had, like a, it felt like being reborn because all of a sudden, for the first time in five years, I know what the, what the issues are. I know why I haven't been able to sleep. I know why my body temperature is changing. I know why I have weight around my core that I never had before that would not budge no matter how clean I'm eating. I know I'm not insane. I know that there's a treatment plan. So not only just knowing that there's a reason for all this stuff and that I'm not just, you know, I kept thinking, am I stashing like dozens of Krispy Kreme donuts and eating them by the, you know, truckload at night and I'm not aware of it? All this stuff, you know, like what's causing? Why do I get headaches? Why can't I sleep? All of this stuff. Now I know and then furthermore, What's most exciting is that there's a treatment plan for this and that it's not as crazy as expensive as I thought. It's expensive, but I'm making the investment in myself because the past five years have been hell. Um, so I'm gonna be sharing all of this with you guys. You saw this in my last video. Um, and a lot of you have been writing and you, I'm, I'm only going over as much as I am on this video because it's important. So I'm gonna share all of this stuff with you. I will link to Dr. Riska. Um, certainly I believe there's probably a handful of, uh, or maybe a dozen uh, other experts and specialists like him, but not a lot. Um, so of course I will recommend that people do what I do. Get your blood work done, get a consultation with him. Um, and then you can either take the blood work and go to someone close to you or go out to Phoenix. Who doesn't wanna to go to Phoenix? That's what I'm doing. Um, so I will share with you guys everything that's going on, but I just, there's just, it's like I've been given a shot of a, a life adrenaline because I'm so thankful, I'm so grateful, I am so excited, and I don't have any doubts. For the first time in five years, I don't have any doubts about the future. Instead of feeling insecure, embarrassed, like I'm gonna be treading water forever, I see the shoreline, and every day, every second, I'm getting closer. That's an awesome feeling to have. I'm gonna zip it, close out at least under 15 minutes, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.